Science, technology, engineering and mathematics, or STEM as we know it, surrounds us in our everyday life. From our mobile phones to our computers, from the food we eat to the clothes we wear, and from the cars we travel in to the buildings we live in, all these things rely on people educated in STEM to create them. Importantly, the role of colleges in supplying people with STEM skills is critical to our future economic growth. Indeed, such is the excellence and diversity of STEM project-based learning across our colleges that we created the best awards to be an annual competition and showcase for the sector. Now in its fourth year, the best awards continue to grow, not only in the numbers of students and projects, but also in the quality of the work which has impressed all involved. Delighted to be here today in Ballymena for the fourth running of the Best Awards, which is a showcase of the very best of talent that operates within the colleges in terms of science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Today we have over 100 projects, excellent projects on the showcase with over 200 students from right across the six colleges and this demonstrates and exemplifies the talent, the creativity, the enterprise skills that our students within the colleges have and also demonstrates the link that they have with business and industry from right across the six colleges. I'm Asla and I'm from Southeastern Regional College in Bangor and I am studying level three animal management and I'm in my second and last year of it. We discovered a piece of neglected woodland in our campus car park which our head of school actually wanted to turn into the car park as well to provide more car park spaces but we discovered that there was a live badger set in the woodland and badgers are a protected species so we are not allowed legally to disturb their habitat. So we put a stop to the car park building and we went into this neglected woodland and we regenerated it and essentially turned it into like a nature reserve. Um, my project's an interactive magazine. It's actually a collaborative um, project for the whole class. So we thought as graphic designers we should just we should just create an interactive magazine and have it widely available for all of the SRC users. We have done it just specifically on our graphic design course, but we thought we could possibly branch out into music, into health and beauty, have all these different courses um, all readily available on your phone or your tablet. Hello, uh, I'm Brian Keating, Chair of Matrix, the Science and Industry Panel for Northern Ireland. Just absolutely blown away by it. The, not only the level of the projects, but the fact that the students themselves are full of enthusiasm, uh, very articulate of what they do, clearly very innovative, uh, and the project outcomes, they know what they want to do with it, and the actual project themselves is superb. The best awards and, and what these young people are demonstrating is exactly what college is, is about, putting people up for life skills, which will are life skills for the rest of their lives. Um, I'm Thomas Murray and this is Ryan Barnes. Um, we're with Belfast Metropolitan College. Um, we're doing the foundation degree in software engineering. Our project, basically what it is, it's a room service application targeted at hotels. Um, at the minute, uh, Northern Ireland is attracting a lot of tourism, like recently we've had the Giro the Italia, and we've got the current Leafa program going on in Belfast, promoted by the road between English and Irish. So what we've designed is an application that can, be, that can run in any language, to, uh, no matter where uh, the customer may be from. And they can view their, brain, sorry, view their booking details, they can order food and drink, they can order access to the room, and they can also set a custom wake up time for themselves as well. Uh, our project is an automated cab feeder where we have this designed a uh, fully automated system. So the cab can come on its own free wall and eight mil and get so much per day. I'm Alan Blair, College of Northern Ireland, the STEM League and Nomming Advisor. This is the fourth year of the best awards and each year we have seen a continued growth in the awards both in terms of size and the quality of the awards, which bodes well for the future, both for the students and for the economy of Northern Ireland. So all in all, it's very much around the student. It's about giving them the opportunity to present their work, but very much also allowing them to develop their personal characteristics which will take forward into their future careers. We're here at the Best Awards uh, to celebrate uh, the very best in terms of the talent within our further education colleges in Northern Ireland, uh, showcasing the innovation in science, technology, engineering and mathematics and the important uh, innovation that's happening that will be of relevance to our local businesses and to help our economy in Northern Ireland to grow uh, in future years and become globally competitive. Well, we wish the students uh, every success in, in their future. Uh, today is a, an opportunity to celebrate their achievements uh, to date, but it has to be a platform uh, for them to move on to much uh, 
about greater things and to think how they in turn uh, can progress in terms of their own careers and to make a contribution to our local economy. In this fourth year of the Best Awards, we have seen an increasingly diverse range of entries which has drawn praise from many quarters, not least the business and industry judges who were present at the finals day. With an increased range of sectoral prizes and additional sponsors, the Best Awards are now established as an important part of the college year. But at the heart of the Best Awards is the student experience. In particular, the interaction with judges, lecturers, fellow students and politicians on the day of the finals. There is no better testimony to the 2014 Best Awards than the feedback from the students themselves and the enthusiasm which was evident. On this final note, we wish those students who participated every success in their future careers and we look forward to hosting the Best Awards in 2015.